Good evening, everybody. Uh, so, for those of you who missed the live feed, that was an impromptu thing. That was kind of a spur of the moment. I just wanted to test out to see if my house internet connection was strong enough to do it, and it was not. So those will be kept at a minimum maybe once a month if I can get our... Uh, I do have a Wi-Fi signal booster. I'm going to plug that in and see if that will improve it, improve it because I would love to meet with you guys once a week live because that was a lot of fun. But I will do better on watching my language on that thing. I lost quite a few subscribers uh, on that one and YouTube pulled it. So And I don't think it was for strong language because I see a lot of videos that do have strong language on them but the I think it was some of the subject matter of current events and things like that that we uh all right so anyway so I'm gonna work on my language a little bit I, I tried to do it pretty well in the regular videos but um the live feed it was kind of <laughs> an uncensored unfiltered kind of thing and I uh, even lost a, a subscriber out of that that we've had pretty well from pretty close to the beginning because of some of the words I use. So I should apologize, but I'm not gonna. That is the way I am. And anybody who watches, you're gonna have to take me for the way I am. That's it's just the way I am. I mean, I'll filter it better, but I'm about as blue collar as it gets. You know what I mean? Um, I love it when somebody says it shows you're an ignorant person because you use foul language and that's, that's bullshit. It's, uh, you know, it doesn't make a person ignorant and I get a kick out of that but looking at the demographics of my viewers a lot of a lot of guys 50 and up and there's some pretty old-fashioned values there and you know that's not a bad thing I think we kind of need more of that in this world today some of that good old-fashioned stuff so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit that way and uh, but speaking of cleaning up we have I'm not gonna swing the camera around yet because you're gonna see throughout this video I'm taking a couple hours tonight to just start hoeing everything out, cleaning everything out. It is, it's like a Macy Day Parade going by my house tonight. So, I'm trying to get next week off from work and what I want to do is spend the week getting ready to put that second floor on. I'm, I'm just so close, I want to get closer. And uh, But to do that, to actually use the sawmill, stuff like that, I need to get this hoed out. And the drone footage I shot today with the snow gone, really rang at home. I mean, the grass is all down, everything's brown, nasty. You could see every tractor rut, every pile of junk, just every nasty little crevice here. Anyway, I'm rambling on here. We're gonna see if we can get the, uh, the, the Alice Chalmers going tonight. It's nice and warm today. I think we should be able to get that going all right. We'll get these two logs out of here. I've got a timber just inside, just outside of the door here, I want to get in on sawhorses. That's for uh, queen posts, and we're just going to run with it. We're going to go what we have tonight. This is a uh, just a clean up, dealing with the mess, which is just as important as anything else on a project like this. So I'm just one of those guys. I can get it cleaned up, and I can keep it that way for a day or two, and then it just goes right to hell again. So anyway, stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the other side of all this mess.
I were my PV, where would I be? Do da, do da. Tell you what, it's February. I'm wearing short sleeve shirt. How can you beat that? I don't ever remember an end of February like this. This is awesome. But I'll get these logs over here now. We've got a stretch cleaned out. Then we can get this stretch cleaned out, and then we're just going to work our way across. And then we're going to tackle the real mess, the sawmill, and I've been burning a bunch of stuff outside. Did get some cool footage, though, out there of the uh, fire from about 200 feet up in the air. So that was kind of neat. Um, doesn't really like night flying all that much, but uh, I think it worked okay. I just had that PD. What did I do with it? Ah, there it is, right where I put it. How about that? Tell you what, if this is so bad now in here, I can't imagine how much of a slob I'm going to be when it's actually my shop. That's going to be uh, interesting. Yes, shame on me, these logs are not debarked. Well, at least they're up off the ground. They will be getting debarked pretty soon because these are our last two top plates sitting right here in these logs. So we're just going to roll them off to the side. Hey, that worked. Sacrificed the shovel for it, but that worked out well. Kind of nice to be able to pump oh, another damn car. Yes, I know. There we go with the language again. I'm working on it, guys. I am working on it. Oh, I can't wait to have this dried in. I just cannot wait. But if I'm going to take next week off, I hope they get it to me. I put in for it today. And we're kind of slow at work right now. Uh, just as easy to take next week off when we're slow. You know, you do HVAC for a living. This uh, this in between weather, it's not really all that cold. It's not really all that hot. It uh, it it makes things really slow. It's like it's one of those things right now where we are so close. It is just tantalizing. It's like. It seems really daunting, but then when you step back and look how much you've gotten done, how far it's come, and to see what you have left, it's kind of cool. I'm going to have to roll this on my leg. here probably gonna drive you guys nuts but after cleaning my chimney from a winter of burning this stuff in it I have no interest in burning this in the house again and for a guy who's burnt firewood his whole life he really ought to know better but you live and you learn we are really we are really spoiled up here in the Northeast for hardwood. You know, I know a lot of you guys out west, I was talking to one of the viewers last night, hello Tim, and uh, you know, we're really lucky to have what we have for timber up here. You know, they have a lot of softwood up there and they're paying, they are paying premium top dollar prices for anything that's hardwood. Wow, it's like we're making some headway. I can walk through here. How about that? I haven't been able to walk through here all winter long. 
Some slob had to put his logs in here and then a dead rat and cow and who knows what else. Oh, cool. Cool. We are making some progress. So it's a quick one tonight. Um, we are gearing up for the warmer weather. That's pretty much what's going on here. It's time to regroup on this project. The winter was, was a bear for this one. It uh, did not get a lot done. Didn't get nearly done what I figured I would. But that's okay, because now it is go time. We're going to have mud season for a while here, so there probably won't be a ton of drone footage because it looks so nasty around here in mud season that I just, I'm embarrassed to show it. I know uh, a friend of mine was telling me yesterday not to worry about it. He ought to see his place. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of opening up my home and my property here to thousands of people now, so... I kind of have to have a little pride in what I'm doing, but uh, we're getting there. This is getting cleaned up. I've actually gotten quite a bit outside cleaned up in the last couple nights. We, uh, I'm going to be plugging away on this for the rest of this week. It's going to be, won't be any joint cutting for the rest of this week. It's just going to be straight up clean up time. And then next week, when the weather's nice, it's supposed to be high 30s, low 40s all week and only one day of rain and... That one day of rain we have, I'm, I very well may go down to my friends and get all those blades sharpened. That'll be a fun time and a good video, I hope. But uh, for all of you who have uh, made the comments to quit talking and just get it done, this is a vlog, folks. So basically when I'm out here putzing around, I'm bringing the camera with me. And for those of you who enjoy following along, I appreciate it. I love the comments and everything else we get. It's it's pretty cool. It's a lot cleaner in here. I'll huh? go get the play button. Go get the play button. She is dying to show you the play button she made for me for our first year on YouTube. It's pretty cool. She put a lot of time into it. Somebody, somebody be respectful about it. That one troll we had the other night. Uh, <laughs> I know my mouth isn't the cleanest, but... Some of the stuff that person was saying on there with my little girl reading it, I wasn't very happy about it. So that'll probably be the last time. It will probably be the last time I do a live one with her sitting there with me. Just because there's some real wackos out there in this world and uh, they have nothing better to do than to go on somebody's channel and just troll. But, uh, yeah. She's like the Flash. She's usually really quick. But, um, yeah, I mean, we've got a few queen posts left to cut joinery in. I've got the rest of them are sitting at the Amish to get. Um, I've got most of the tying members for the queen post uh, bents, I guess we'll call them. I've got most of the, uh, the tying members for those cut and ready to go up. And I'm getting excited. Because another month or two of this thing is going to be, this thing's going to be dried in, and I can't wait. Um, the next thing I want to do before next week when we're working heavy is that nasty blue tarp and everything that's been on all winter that blew off after the first day. I want to get that out of here because that looks terrible. Show them. Show the people. Yeah, yeah. No, you. 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 you made it. You. You made it. You. So... My master of disaster made this for me for our first year on YouTube. Isn't that nice? She did a good job. She made it out of clay. She painted it. So that's pretty cool. She's always making neat little stuff for me. And you know, when the shop's built, she gets her own workbench in the wood shop. That was one of the deals that she had to have, isn't it? Yeah? So you don't make a mess in the house. <laughs> yeah, so you don't make a mess in the house anymore. But, um... So anyway, I knew your favorite colors were blue and green. So. Yeah, my, she even put my favorite colors on there. She's a very thoughtful kid, very thoughtful. Of course, I'm still pretty sure she may be the source of the hatchet marks I found in some of my braces, but sorry, sorry. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna put them up anyway because that's her mark on the building. It's kind of important that these these kids were involved in a lot of this, so it's kind of important to to do it. But, you alright? Yeah, I'm just running my whole way here. Why do you have black stuff all over your face? Sophia what? drew on my face. Why did she draw on your face? Because I let her. <laughs> oh. 
Good thing they're on school break this week, huh? It was a Sharpie also. It was a Sharpie. I, yeah, I see that. It wouldn't come off. <laughs> okay. No matter how hard it is. Anyway, do. folks, next week should be a lot more of real progress. If, like I said, as long as the company says, yeah, go for it, I kind of usually they want two weeks' notice for vacation. But like I said, we're so slow right now, I don't think it'll be a problem. If I can get a good solid week on this without the interruptions and all that, no on call and decent weather, we can really get quite a bit done here in that. I'm really looking forward to that. So, anyway, I hope none of you felt like your time was wasted with another cleanup video, but there's probably going to be a couple more of them this week. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, I've been so slow on the uploads this winter that everything is tanked on this channel. Um, that live feed, I, like I said earlier, lost uh, lost a good chunk of subscribers on that one, and I'm losing a couple a day. And uh, probably part of that, you know, the project's really really drawn out, and you know, you can only so show so much of the same thing over and over and over again before people get bored with it. So I'm I'm really looking forward to having this project done and getting to a point where we can get into the other stuff, you know, the the foraging and the tool making. And the wood shop stuff and the addition on the house um, plus we have a lot of farm stuff if any of you people are homestead people there's going to be a lot of that this summer um, because we have cows yes we have cows and once this project ceases to be the main focus of the channel we're really going to be able to branch out and bring a lot bring a lot more to you as far as content because we want to try to keep it good content but we also want to try to diversify so we can you know in all honesty but I want to try to do enough things to keep you folks interested keep you wanting to tune in and this is kind of this channel is kind of part of my plan for moving on from what I'm doing now this is kind of the first step type thing this building's the first step type thing and I'm hoping within the next 10 years or so that we're going to be able to be in here and making our living out of this building that is my main goal whether it be tools whether it be kitchen cabinets whatever it be furniture it's we're into just about everything here and it, you go ahead and sit on that piece of wood so we're into a little bit of everything here and we're going to be bringing a lot more of that to you and i know i'm droning on for like seven minutes here so i'm going to cut it off because we're going to have we got a lot more to clean up in here, but we, we made a good dent tonight, and I made a pretty good dent outside uh, the last couple nights <laughs> when she thinks I can't see her in the camera. No food for you for a week. Yeah, what do you think of that? He's just joking. He's just joking, huh? Yeah. You said it all the time. <laughs> Ceases to mean anything, doesn't it? I say it so much it doesn't mean anything anymore. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. I will catch you on the next one.